Step eight. In step eight, I'll be dealing with the B part of the sample question. The B part of the sample question is asking us to perform an assessment of the financial performance of LOL using EVA and evaluate our results compared with that of earnings per share growth and share price performance. We've been asked to state any assumptions made. The first thing I look at here is that per my calculation, I've been able to calculate my EVA for 2009, I've been able to calculate my EVA for 2010, and I've noted a change between the two years. I've also done my working for my EPS for 2009, done my working for 2010, and I've noted the change. I'm also looking at the market index for the two years, noted a change. Looking at the retail index for the two years, noted a change. Looking at the share price of LOL for the two years, and also noted a change. I'll go here and I'll show you my workings. The first working that I need to do is, because I'm being asked to calculate EVA, I know that I need to calculate my NOPAD. My NOPAD is my net operating profit after tax. The examiner is giving me my profit before interest and tax. So I pick up my profit before interest and tax, and then I add back my interest net of tax, which is 4 million multiplied by 75% because my tax rate given to me is 25%. That is actually giving me 38 in the first year, and the total is giving me 32.65 in the second year. I know that I also need to calculate my capital employed. The capital employed given to me, the examiner is giving me capital employed for 2008, end of 2008, end of 2009, end of 2010. As we discussed earlier, to be able to calculate your capital employed, we always pick up the opening balance. In this case, the closing for 2008 becomes the opening for 2009, which will be my 99.2, and the closing for 2009 will be the opening for 2010, and that will be my 104.1. From here, I'll be able to calculate my work. My work, I have my work given to me for 2009 and 2010 because the examiner was able to give me information to be able to do my workings. The examiner told me about the capital structure being 50% and 50% for debt and equity. The examiner also gave me my cost of equity to be 12.7% and my cost of debt to be 4.2%. Using this information, I've been able to calculate my work for the two years. So I'll be able to come down to calculate my EVA. My EVA is calculated as my no part minus my capital employee times my work. And that is the way I was able to come up with my values for my work. The question also asks me to calculate my capital employed, which I believe I have done. Now let's look at the sort of comments I can actually pop up over here. My comments, I pick up the market and the retail index, and I spoke about the changes between the two years, and I compared that to that of LOL. You realize that I've put a subheading, which is my market and my retail index. I've written a short paragraph. My paragraph is just five lines. I'm not exceeding five lines because I know that the moment that marker sees this, the marker will find it very easy to identify the points I'm trying to make, and I will score my marks. My second point that I'll pop in here is I'm looking at my EVA and talk about my share prices. At the same time here, small subheading, underline, and I wrote just four lines. You realize that between the first and the second paragraph, there is a line. This makes it easy for the marker to identify my points and I score my marks.